Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel if you are new. My name is Becca. I am a bus driver turned dump truck driver and I am into fitness. Well, welcome. Today is another anti MLM video. I've got Diet Coke in my one of my bus kids made this for me last this past school year. I make the wheels on the bus go round and round. I'm going to miss my bus kids switching from a bus to a dump truck, but that'll be in a different video. So this video today is about how the Optavia diet affected my stomach. Um, in my last video, I explained that I did the Optavia diet to be able to come on to here and explain it to you all. So today I'm going to sit here and tell you how it affected my stomach. I can't really say how long this video might be. It depends on how much I talk. I do have my phone here because I was looking up information this past week. So if you see me looking down, it's just because I am looking, I'm just looking at my phone. So to get my information. Just Diet Coke. I don't drink regular Coke. I really hardly ever actually drink a Diet Coke. Um, it's more so an occasion thing for me. So, like I said in the past video, I did the Optavia diet. And <laughs> towards the end, I was really, really modifying it because it's such a low calorie very processed diet so it's very processed so it affected my stomach in a really really negative way um i didn't really notice it until i was about the second week in and then it got worse the third week in and then the last week in because i was really really modifying it i didn't see too too much of a difference but the two weeks in the middle they were it was Pretty, pretty rough, pretty bad. Um, ignore my look. Sunday, just a chill day. Took my son over to my parents' house and played in their little pool that they got. Just an inflatable blow up pool. No, nothing big, nothing fancy. So the first week. First couple of days I noticed. So you eat, you eat there a few oldings. Like I explained, they're very, very processed. They're only about... The bars are only about this big. And everything is either a bar, a powdered shake, or something like that. And so, you're eating very, very processed food. And then you're only eating one whole food meal a day. So, I noticed it would be kind of fine during the day. Then, now again, this was the first week fine during the day no issues you know i noticed that didn't really have a lot of gas or bloating or gastrointestinal issues but then i would go and have my dinner and i noticed i would get a lot of gas and a lot of bloating after my dinner so then after my dinner i had my last fueling i'd be trying to chug the rest of my water because like i said i drink a big thing of water every day I drink approximately 72 ounces of water a day so I prefer to drink more water I'm very active I sweat and I sweat a lot in the dump truck because it's very hot and you're in and out of the quarries and everything but so I was noticing I was getting a lot of gas and a lot of bloating when I'd have my dinner no big deal right so I noticed that the first couple days and then towards the end of the week I was noticing a lot of bloating and pain after I would have that meal my whole food meal my dinner and then moving on to the second week Saturday Sunday and then going into the second week I noticed I would get a lot of gas and a lot of bloating after I had every single fueling after every single fueling my stomach would bloat up it would distend to where I was looking like I was four to five months pregnant again. And 
the way that I'm built, my stomach always stays pretty flat. Um, my weight does disperse all over. So I knew that something was wrong because I was having a lot of gastrointestinal issues. My stomach was bloating up so bad and it was so painful. The entire second and the third week at the end of the night, no matter what I ate, whether it was a fueling or my dinner, my stomach would hurt so bad. It would blow it up to where I looked like I was about six to eight months pregnant. During the day, it would be the four to five. And then at the end of the night, it'd be like six to eight, looking six to eight months pregnant. It would be so painful. I'd be lying on the couch saying to my husband how much my stomach hurt and how bad it hurt and it was really bad when i would be lying there talking to him and i'm like my stomach is killing me my stomach is hurting me so so bad and that was the entire second week and it got worse on the, by the third week the only way to get my stomach to not hurt to not bloat to not distend was to just not even eat so towards the end of the week i was like i think i was about halfway through the third week i was like you know what i'm going to double up on these few fuelings to get them done so i was doubling up on all the few fuelings i was even putting them with my dinner like my actual dinner just to try and get them done to where i was able to get them done in I think if I didn't double them up, I would have gotten them, I would have, this would be my last week on it. So I was able to cut off pretty much two weeks by doubling up on everything for about a week and a half. And doubling up on them definitely made a difference because by the end of the week, Yes, I was still having the gas and I was still having the bloating, but it wasn't as bad. Now, obviously, I just started my menstrual cycle yesterday. So, some of it probably has to do with the fact that my cycle was coming. So, I'm trying to rule that out. But this past week the week before my period is usually when my bloating and everything is the worst because when you're a female and you're coming up on your cycle your hormones are raging your hormones are going up down left right and every which way so i kind of chalked it up to a little bit of that but this past week my bloating my gas wasn't as bad like i was still having gas and i still having bloating but, but i wasn't having the pain so i don't know if maybe my body just got used to it or my body was just kind of cycling through because I was trying to drink I hate to say it I was trying to drink more coffee because coffee definitely helps to flush everything out because I noticed I really wasn't going that much now not to get into detail about that because I really don't like I really don't want to get into a lot of like bowel movements on my channel but you're supposed to have a good amount of bowel movements during the day and I really was not having much so I actually increased my coffee intake over the past couple months I've only been having about like 10 ounces of coffee a day so with going back to work obviously I make my 32 two ounce mug but I was like you know what I'm gonna have a cup of coffee while I work out and then have my 32 two ounce mug and then I would chug I would fill up my water bottle before I would leave and I would chug it all day long so I don't know if that could have helped either um it was definitely I was still still taking my vitamins I was adding in a probiotic I was taking the Tums and everything just to kind of help with my stomach and then by the end of this past week I was definitely feeling a lot better and then of course you know your cycle comes and you definitely feel a lot less like you don't have a lot of cravings and a lot of your bloating does go away so obviously i'm go going to have people saying oh well it could have been been your cycle coming and i'm not ruling that out i'm not saying that my cycle definitely coming didn't put into play but 
the entire quarantine, I really wasn't having gastrointestinal issues. I really wasn't having a lot of bloating. I really wasn't having a lot of gas. My gas and bloating definitely depended on if I ate something that causes more inflammation with my body. Like, I'm really hit and miss with dairy. I can do cheese, yogurt, and ice cream's really hit and miss. I can have it on a Monday, but by a Wednesday, it's affecting my stomach. But I really can't do a lot of milk. So I, so I minimize my butter, I minimize the cream cheese, cream, sour cream. I really don't drink milk, so I do like the almond milk, the macadamia milk, the oat milk, um, like the soy milks, the vegan milks, but I do have to watch soy. Soy will upset my stomach too, so I can't have a lot of that. But like there's like the fair life milk, that I can do. And then the, the ripple milk, I saw it on, um, another YouTuber, Sammy Marie. After seeing her video about it, I tried it and that's actually really good and it didn't affect my stomach either. You know, and I can do whey proteins and whey protein blends, but milk, milk and ice cream are really hit and miss. Milk affects me a good like 90% of the time. Ice cream is kind of like a 50-50 thing. So I do really watch a lot of my dairy, but I noticed I wasn't having any dairy while on this at all. So I was like, okay, that's a little odd. I know I can't do onions. I can do cooked onions, but I can't do raw. So I know what affects my stomach and what doesn't affect my stomach. And over the last couple months, I really wasn't having a lot of issues because, you know, I was kind of eating on the fly and I was trying to listen to my body more and not really eat. What I've been trying to do, because I do track my macros off and on, is that I try and eat for what my body needs. So I really listen to my body and I really try and follow my natural hunger cues. So over the last couple months with not driving the bus and just doing Instacart and DoorDash and stuff, I was packing food and eating when I was hungry and everything like that and I was eating dinner and now I've gotten back into the, if I'm not hungry before bed, I'm not going to have anything. Um, kind of depends on how filly my dinner was. Or if I'm just not, not even hungry. Like my dinner tonight was pretty, pretty filling. So I'm not going to have anything before bed. But over the last couple months, obviously let's cut to the chase. I wasn't really having a lot of issues. And so then I started on this diet, this diet program, and I'm having a lot of issues. Because I do try and limit a lot of the processed food that I personally choose to eat. Um, I do have my days, like I said, I do have my days where I eat more junk food and more crap food than food that is good for me. Um, I like to say that's called balance. Um, but overall, in moderation, I try not to eat a lot of processed food. Explain my last video, I either have protein oats or I have eggs and either toast or something and some fruit or I put fruit into my protein oats and then my lunch I try and keep either leftovers or I'll just make something up real quick, maybe like a sandwich or a wrap and like a little salad. Or I'll just make a salad in general. And then I try and keep my snacks too, like yogurt and fruit and veggies and peanut butter or veggies and like a dressing or something like that. Or, you know, a protein bar or a granola bar. I try and keep things like that. And then my dinner, I try and be healthy. I, you know, try and use as lean meats as I can. So I like my bratwurst and I like my beef hot dog, so. Sometimes I use the fat out of your cuts of meat and then I always add in a veggie and I always add in some type of carb like I'm Italian, I like pasta, I like rice, I like potatoes of all kinds, baked potatoes, mashed potatoes, fries, you know, th things like that. And then, you know, at the end of the night if I'm hungry I might have like some cookies or some ice cream or a bowl of cereal or, you know, some something like that. So overall I try to keep my stuff not very processed some obviously i'll have like chips as a snack sometimes or i have like graham crackers or like golden gra not go golden graham like teddy graham type of snacks or i'm more sweet person so you won't catch me eating a lot of like savory salty snacks like i like my dinners and my lunches very sa very savory but i like my snacks like my vanilla, my flavored Greek yogurts with my fruits, and you know, I love 
peanut butter. So I do like that, like think things like that. So I do try and limit a lot of my processed stuff. So going from overall not a super processed diet because you can overeat healthy foods and gain weight calories in versus calories out there's science back behind it look it up if you don't believe me so i go from having a relatively low processed junk food diet to every single meal is processed that and they put vitamins and minerals into it but it's still you can go to the store and get a special k bar or get a fiber one protein bar and it's got the same macro content or i'm going to use it as an mlm dupe but i've got a granola bar from aldi's it's a protein snack granola bar it's got the same macro it's got if it's not the same it's a very similar macro breakdown to the optavia bars but it's a little bit bigger so it is a little bit higher in calorie but like i said if it's not the same it's a very very similar macro count like you can get the luna bars and the lara bars and things like that at the stores that are so similar you know protein powders you can get um you can do the car do the carnation instant breakfast packet and add in protein and you've got an Optavia dupe and you've got a, Her a Herbalife dupe. So, and you also have a Isogenics dupe and a Shakeology dupe and Arbon dupe. Um, if you get the Vega and the Vega Sports, boom, you've got your, Ar your Arbon dupe. If you get the PE Science vegan protein or any vegan protein, you've got that dupe. But anyway, you get you get what I'm saying. You can go go to the store and get very, very similar products and do this diet for a fraction of the cost because before I started with my new job, which I will talk about in my next video, um, when I was Instacarting one day, I decided to tally up everything. Um, I did the Premier Protein. They have the little, their little packs. You put them into your water, your milk, shake it up and it dissolves. Um, so I did two of those plus um, various protein bars and like the frozen lunches that you can get in stores and um, like the mighty mu muffins and the protein pancakes and stuff like that so I looked all of that up and you can get everything that you need for the month for a hundred and ninety dollars and the Optavia diet is four hundred and thirty Thirty dollars after taxes and everything else. Hundred and ninety. Let's do this math on camera because I don't feel like doing the math in my head. You have a two hundred and forty dollar savings. 190 240 now obviously prices can range things can be different it can be a little bit different it can vary depending on the brands or the grocery store that you go to i used Shoprite and aldi you can get everything at aldi actually everything at all aldi because a lot of times in their aldi finds you'll get the little mighty mu muffins and stuff like that and they do have their own protein pan pancake so you can literally portion it out add some water bake it up in the container and you can roll so and then they do have the individual little like breakfast and lunches things too but i did between ShopRite and aldi um you can also do it between walmart and aldi um depending or if you have like a kroger or a publix or anything i'm on the east coast i'm in the state of maryland i use aldi and shop right but if i did between aldi and walmart it would still be around like 190 maybe it might be a little bit more it might be a little less but what i did was around 190 so you can definitely save a lot of money and you're probably going to have a lot less stomach issues 
because MLMs are filled with a lot of prop proprietary blends and a lot of cheap ingredients. The products are very, very cheap to make and they upcharge it because they have to pay your coach, the coach's coach, your coach's coach's coach, your coach's coach. As you see, it goes up the pyramid because I'm going to get to untie going coach, 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 da, 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 da. So anyway, it goes all the way up the pyramid. So this could be, so this could regularly be a hundred and hundred seventy five to two hundred dollar program, just like you would find in the stores. But it's made very, very, it's made a little bit cheaper than what you would find in stores because it's multi-level marketing. They use cheaper ingredients, but then they upcharge it because they have to pay everyone up the pyramid and the CEO of the company wants to make a profit. So, and honestly, you might have, you might not have very many stomach issues, but if you, you are like me, I could do this program buying everything for Alma store and most likely I'm still going to have stomach issues because you are eating processed food all day long and i know people are go, oh, going to come at me saying canned fruits and vegetables and frozen fruits and vegetables are processed too everything is processed really is everything is processed but when i talk about processed food i mean like the granola bars and the protein bars and everything like that those i consider those more processed foods than just the frozen fruits and vegetables the canned fruits and vegetables meats and everything like that so just for so we're all on the same page and I know this video is all kinds of jumbled. I don't take notes. I don't write notes down. I talk very freely. So that's why I have some pauses in between. And everything like that. But so basically coming off of the, the Optavia diet. I've been off of the diet for two days now. And I've had no stomach issues. I've been going regularly. I haven't really had any bloating unless I eat too much or just drink a lot of water you're obviously going to have you're going to look leaner in the morning than you are in the evening because you've got food and water for on the day but i haven't had any intense stomach pains or anything like that so i've been feeling a lot 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 better since coming off of the diet and not doing the program so I guess the moral of this whole thing was that the Optavia diet definitely hurt my stomach. It affected my stomach, it affected me negatively, it caused a lot of stomach pains and a lot of gastro gastrointestinal issues on top of the fact that my cycle was coming. So you put a very processed diet and your menstrual cycle coming together and kind of that's just so I can kind of play devil's ad advocate here, even though I definitely know that I don't get intense stomach pains nearing my period. I really don't even get bad cramps. So I don't get stomach cramps and I, it's very rare if I have any sort of bad cramps. Like I'll get a little bit, like it'll be very, very dull, but I don't get any intense pains. So that's how I know that was the diet. The stomach pains, and a lot of the gastrointestinal issues came from that diet, whereas some of the bloating can be con contributed to the fact that my cycle was coming. So, moral of this, just don't do, don't do, do this pro program, guys. You don't want to support a multi-level marketing company. You don't want to support a scheme. And also, these coaches are not qualified. They're qualified in Optavia, but they are not qualified to coach you. If you need help, I'm doing macro consults. I can help to break down your macros, hand calculate them, and get you started tracking macros. Or you could hire another coach, and because I'm just doing macro consults, I'll talk about that in another video or hire a qualified personal trainer who is also certified in new nutrition or get a registered dietitian to help you. Get somebody qualified, read, 
research, look everything up, watch the various YouTube videos from people like Lane Norton and Stephanie Buttermore and uh, Paul, Paul Revelia, Lauren Conlin. There's so many people with great information out there that you can learn, learn from and learn true information from. Don't listen to unqualified people because most people in multi-level marketing systems and companies, they are not qualified to truly coach you. Just because their name is coach does not mean that they have the qualifications to help you. So do your research and just eat whole foods. Track your macros, track your calories, keep a food journal, truly listen to your own body, learn your natural hunger cues. True genuine hunger, not just being bored or tired or thirsty. If you think you're hungry, chug water. Cause then if you're not, you were just thirsty. And get people who are qualified, eat whole foods, eggs, meats, rice, potatoes, pasta, fruits, vegetables, healthy fats, avocados, peanut butter, hummus, things like that. Eat whole foods. Don't eat what affects your body. Um, Swonormous, swol Papa Swolio has a great pro program. He does the elimination diet and it has worked for a lot of people. Or you, you can go with Alan Roberts from everyday M day fit fitness. He has worked with people with food addictions and everything like that. So please just don't eat a high processed diet. Don't fall for yo-yo diets or multi-level marketing diets and get people who are actually qualified to help you. So you don't have the stomach pain and the stomach issues that I had trying out the diet specifically for a YouTube video. <laughs> so that will wrap up this video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you all in my next video. Bye.